Welcome to Blender for Blogs. My name is Justin, and this is a video series that is all about how to use Blender to create amazing looking videos for your project, website, or blog. Boop. Well, hello, and as you just saw, this is Blender for Blogs, and I am Justin, wishing you a very Merry Christmas this year. And so recently someone asked uh, how to add a snow falling overlay on their video. And so I thought in light of the Christmas slash wintry season um, that that would be a great tutorial for Christmas. Now, of course, I know some of you aren't experiencing snow right now. Um, those of you on the equator or I know Australia, I think it's your summer now. So um, good day down under. And uh, But up here in the north, uh, it is cold and snowy. So anyway, I did some experimenting and I came up with three ways to achieve the snow falling effect. So let's get started. So I have my video clip here Blender for blogs. that you just saw. And obviously it has no snow right now. So uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and hide the uh, audio, so we don't have we don't need that to, for this tutorial. Basically, to achieve this effect is to uh, overlay a GIF file or GIF file, however you say that. Um, but I've already done a tutorial on how to download and import a GIF file into your scene, so I'm not going to cover that here. I'm just going to assume that you've already watched that video and know it. So if you haven't, go back and watch the video. I'll post uh, a link or I put a link to in the post and the card or whatever. Um, but I have already downloaded my GIF file, so I'm going to go ahead and shift A to add in an image. And you can see these are the three uh, ways that I'm going to show you. The first one is with a transparent background. So I'm going to click up here for my thumbnails. And now you can see um, an image sequence of snow falling. Now, I am i don't know what happened here, but this is like little green uh, snow and I don't never eat green snow or never eat yellow snow whatever either of those but anyway I'm going to select all of them by pressing A and then I'm going to shift select this one because I don't want that green one in there add image strip and um, it added it down here now <clears throat> the reason just if you're wondering why I have this up a little bit here in fact I might even move it up just a little bit more is because um, I like to be able to move this around up and down uh, freely. Uh, if it's all the way down here, I can't move this the um, sequencer up any further, and I just it bothers me. <laughs> so if it doesn't bother you, you don't have to bring your strips all the way up here. Just FYI. We're going to grab the image sequence on the Y, bring it up to where it's over the top of here. Now you should know what the next step is. Uh, since we can't see anything below it and it's transparent, we have to change our blend mode to overdrop and boom, easy as that. And we can play that and we can see that that's working just fine. Now this first way is the easiest, quickest way to get snow falling on over your video using a transparent background. Obviously, all you have to do is import the image sequence and change this to overdrop and you are done. Now, uh, maybe you don't like the speed of the snow falling. Maybe that's a little too fast for you. So I'll show you how to fix that. If you select your strip here, shift A to add an effect strip and you want speed control. And of course, change the blend mode to overdrop. And now uh, make sure you have stretch to input strip length checked. Uh, basically what that's going to do is if I uh, grab this handle and stretch this strip length out, you can see I'm changing the, um, the speed of it. Well, you can see it looks like it's snowing backwards, but that's because it's changing the speed. Now if I play this, the snow falls slower because it's using the same amount of frames um, at a longer length. So if I drag it out even further, it's going to go even slower. And the longer I stretch this, the slower it's going to go. Now, if you go too far, of course, you can see each frame falling, and that's pretty jittery. So if you wanted to go, um, obviously, more, what you do is you find a good, like, medium, a happy medium, like maybe there is good. And um, and then what you would do is you would just uh, duplicate these out. And to to keep from like any sort of sudden jumps, um, you might instead of doing that, you might want to. Uh, I'm gonna just select this one, Alt O to clear the offset there. 
and then look at the strip length here and then just um, multiply that by something um, times three. There we go. So let's play that and see how that looks. Yeah. So that that's a good speed. And so that way now I know that it's at the very last frame here so that when it starts over, it's not going to have a huge jump. So it's uh, going to be a smoother transition there. And obviously, uh, if we want to speed it up, we just go the opposite way. So um, well, really fast snow. There you go. And then you just uh, copy that or uh, shift D to duplicate that, I mean, and keep doing that. And then what I would do then maybe, um, so you wouldn't have to do this for the whole thing, uh, I would box select these by hitting B and selecting those, uh, control G for a meta strip, and then overdrop, of course, and there you go. And we have our really fast falling snow. <laughs> and then you can just, you know, duplicate that out. It's a blizzard! Okay. All right, so that is the first way. The second way is with a black background. So it's basically the same thing. So I already have the image sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and shift A, add an image, go up, go to our black background here. And I'm just going to show you with the thumbnails what that looks like. So we have a different kind of snow falling, but the snow is falling over a black background. So I'm going to select all of them by pressing A and then add image strip G and then Y to move that up. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And I'm just going to adjust this here just a little bit. And now we start Welcome basically the, the same way. Oh, let's uh, hide this here. Um, we start basically the same way um, with uh, the white snow on a black background. But because this is a true black background and not a transparent background, uh, I can't just uh, change the blend mode to overdrop because it doesn't do anything. There's no alpha there. But with a black and white image, what you can do is you can choose add. And boom! Oh, look at that. Right out of the box, pretty much. Now, uh, you might notice something a little different, and that is the border around each of the little snowflakes. Um, that kind of looks, I mean, unless that's the effect you're going for, that could be kind of cool, you know, uh, like a little glowing effect there. But um, I don't want that. And so uh, how do we get rid of that? That's a good question, Justin. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, so I'm going to answer myself now, and probably you, if you want to get rid of that as well. It's very easy. All we have to do is go over to our modifiers, uh, add a strip modifier, curves, and take the bottom left point here, and on the X, just drag that in. As you can see, as you drag it in, it doesn't even need to be that much. As you drag that in, you can see now that halo border is being taken out which is really cool and actually I'm going to change my proxy size to 100% so we can actually see a little bit more of how that's going to look in reality and maybe I want maybe a little bit of it on the bigger flakes there I don't know just for effect I have no idea but there we go and now boom we have snow overlay now let's say this is too much snow for you well basically all you have to do is keep sliding that bottom point over to the right. And the more you slide it, the more you see the snow disappears. So there you go. We have a little bit of winteriness on the clip here. And of course, if you wanted to add in a speed control, you can do that as well. But if you try to change that to overdrop, again, that's not going to work. So you have to also change the speed control to add. And so there we go. And then we can change the speed, make that a little bit slower. So we've got snow slowly falling or, of course, snow quickly falling. OK, so that is the second way. And it's pretty much the same way as the first, except for we are using add instead of overdrop. Now, I believe this would also work with black and white uh, footage. So if this was uh, not an image sequence, but a black and white video, I think uh, 
the ad would work the same way. Now, I haven't tested that, but that's the, that's the assumption. Okay, so moving on to number three, this is if you have a different color background, like a blue or uh, green or red or any other color, um, that is what we're gonna go over now. So uh, shift A, gonna add in our image sequence, uh, go to our blue, and just so you can see what that looks like with the thumbnail view. So we have snow on a blue background. So let's select all of them, add image strip, grab on the Y and pull that up. Now, uh, we can't just do overdrop, of course, because it's a solid image. And we can't do add, because if we do that, then that does gives us this weird, crazy effect, unless that's the effect you're going for. Um, so we're going to have to do something slightly different. I'm going to go back to cross here. And then I'm going to scroll down here and to where it says color. And I'm going to take the saturation all the way down to zero. So now it is a black and white image. Um, well, black and or white and gray mostly now. And then I'm going to go to the modifiers tab, add strip modifier, and then curves again. And then we're going to do the same exact thing and take this point on the X all the way to the right. And as we do that, you can see uh, that blue background is now changing to a black background, which is pretty cool. And then as much as you want to go um, to get rid of that snow or keep keep it, you can kind of decide for yourself. I'll put it maybe right, right about there. And now we have a black and white image. And what do we do with black and white image? We change the blend mode to add. And boom, we have the same effect. Welcome to blend and that's that's really fast. So what I want to do is, uh, of course, that speed control, and then change that to add, and drag this out again. Uh, with that speed control, the the way that this dragging works is you want to make sure that the um, uh, stretch to input length here is checked. If that's not checked, then um, you're going to have to multiply speeds and use math and I'm terrible with math in my head at least so um the strip input length works just fine for me. Vlogs. My name is Justin, and this now is that's jittery because um there aren't very many frames in this uh gif or image sequence or gif <laughs> but um so you probably don't want to yeah do do vlogs. too far and then we can um actually well let's just do this Welcome to Blender for Pro you probably don't want to do it too far. Oh, okay. And I forgot to hide that too. There we go. Okay. Now there is an alternative to this method. And basically that is going to be um, creating a mask. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add our image sequence again. And instead of changing this one, I'm going to duplicate it up directly above, and then I'm going to change this one. So just do the same thing. We're going to go uh, to our color, bring down that saturation, and then modifiers, add strip modifier, curves, and grab that and move that all the way over to the right, as far as we might want it. Okay. So now, uh, instead of changing this to add, I'm just going to hide it because this is going to be a mask. And I'm also going to go to back to our strip and rename this to uh, Mask Snow. And then I'm going to select the bottom one, uh, make sure that this is Overdrop. And then I'm going to go to Modifiers, Add Strip Modifier, Mask. And then I'm going to make sure Strip is selected, not Mask, but Strip. And then in the mask field, I'm going to click and then select mask snow. And boom, you can see it is now having the same exact effect as this one over here. Um, but what it's doing is it's using this one as a mask. And now what that is, basically what a mask is, now I've already made a tutorial that uh, has this technique in it, teaching you how to create your own 2D motion graphic. Now, I don't know if that video is going to be out by the time I post this video, uh, but it's the same technique. And basically, a mask is uh, everything that's white is visible and everything that's black is cut out or transparent. 
Um, so you can see that if I um, go up here and just decrease the opacity, you can see basically all of the white areas are the exact areas where that snow is on each of them. So basically it's just cutting out that back, black background and, and creating a transparency. So I'm going to bring this opacity back up and you don't actually need the, um, the mask to be visible in your scene. So I'm just going to hide that and when I hide that it's still using this mask to uh, get the information to cut out all of that blue area because this is still blue. You can see that there. Now a reason that you might want to do it this way is because if I just bring this mask up and then um, add in an effect strip color, bring that up and change this color to a, I don't know, let's do a, a blue, like a little nice royal blue there or whatever you call that. And then I go to modifiers for my color strip and then add a mask and use the same mask as that and nothing happens and that is because we need to make this overdrop and boom now we have blue snow now you don't actually need this one um, because it's not actually using any of that information uh, it's just this is using this as a mask where it's cutting out those white areas ha ha look at that and uh, what you can do in order to change the speed, I did, this is a little bit uh, of a challenge to try to do this because um, when I grabbed these out like this, actually, let's just snap those together like that. You know, if you play it, obviously there's no speed control, so you have that hanging on the last frame there, so nothing is moving. So if I add in a speed control, it is now black and white. Now I can't just change this to overdrop because again, this is not a transparent image. It's a black and white image. If I change it to add, something really weird happens. And I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, basically it's adding another mask. So to get around this, you don't use the mask as a mask, you use the speed of the mask as a mask, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna select the speed and then put a uh, mask speed here. Then select my color uh, and go to the modifiers. And instead of mask snow, we'll do mask speed. Now you can see a little blue still there and that is because we have uh, our mask speed um, on add still. So I'm actually going to change that to cross because uh, we don't need this to be transparent because we're just going to hide it just like this one. So if we hide that, boom, now we have snow continuing to fall at the speed that we desired. And the neat thing about this is if I page down and go here and hit S, that's going to be my start frame. And then I page up to the end here, hover my mouse over here, press E, that's going to be our end frame. So that if I just press play, then it's just going to loop through that. And what I can do with that is if you're trying to test the color to see what color you want, you can do that in real time. So as it's falling, you can see what the effect is immediately. So there you have it. Those are some very useful techniques that you can implement to make a little Christmassy, wintry season uh, overlay on your video. So I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and uh, stay warm and bundled up uh, when you go out in the snow. Um, and for all of you that are, it's your summer now, have fun celebrating Christmas at the beach or something, whatever you do. Um, but anyway, more tutorials are on the way. Stay tuned and happy editing.